Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the team of the week players that EA just revealed and then of course tomorrow morning on the EA stream I'm sure that we'll go over all of the remaining team of the week players but I do want to give a shout out to Tony Colas for being a part of the Noti gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel to notification bell on and comment down below Noti gang. So let's get right to the players that EA did reveal. So as you guys can see, we have a Mike Edwards right here. So Mike Edwards is actually the player of the week. If you guys didn't already know this, uh, EA only does one actual like hero card from this year, this week, week two of 2021. The limited time card is not from this year. This is just how they've done team of the year uh, over the past two years now is the LTD is from like 2016. 2017 whatever just like miles garrett last week that was from his 2018 performance well mike edwards is the one player who was going to get the hero not even overall for this week and i gotta say the card looks pretty good but i also want to say this i think this pretty much means that derrick henry is being saved for a promo i think it's pretty uh pretty apparent that they don't want to give him a hero card right here i think he'll probably end up getting a plus one tomorrow which i really wish he would have got a hero card because would be much much better but i still think he's going to get a plus one he just had too good of a game to not at least get a plus one but if that didn't qualify him to get the hero i think he's got a promo card coming probably most feared one would think or mutt heroes maybe if we get that as well but mike edwards 91 speed 91 acceleration he's got 90 zone 88 hit power 85 man and 87 pursuit so this card it looks really good now you guys can see as well mike edwards of course does have that power up symbol right there so you will be to actually power him up and if we compare him to sean taylor he is very comparable to Sean T. Now, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. You guys can see right here, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. Both of them can be powered up. So same speed, same excel, 85 tackling. Sean Taylor, uh, he's got a tackling of 85. Now, Sean does have 91 hit power, right? And over here, Mike Edwards, only 88, but... 90 zone coverage on Mike Edwards and we have 87 zone on Sean now let's assume here that 90 zone coverage is the threshold I don't believe we know the thresholds just yet but I'm gonna guess that being at 91 zone probably will put him over the threshold don't know for a fact yet what the thresholds are but having over 90 yeah I have Ed Reed on my team who is above 90 zone coverage I believe he's actually at 91 base I want to say and then powered it to 92 and he definitely plays like he's got really, really good zone coverage. I'm going to imagine here that Mike Edwards is going to play very, very, very good when it comes to zone coverage. Does have 85 man compared to Sean Taylor. Only 77, so way better in man coverage. Now, we don't know what the block shed is. Sean Taylor does have 79 block shed here. But if we take a look at Mike Edwards' just base gold card here, uh, his block shed's a 54. So, 54 and a 74 overall. He got a plus 17. Uh, overall here so maybe he gets to like 70 block shed which would put him decently close to sean i think this mike edwards card is going to be basically sean taylor but a little bit better in zone coverage also mike edwards here only five foot ten so that is going to hurt him a little bit compared to six foot two uh, when it comes to those deep safeties so Eh, you guys let me know down below what you think. I think it's going to be a really good card, though. Looks like a really good card. And then as for the limited time card, which like I just said, guys, the LTD is from years past. There are so many comments over on Twitter when I tweeted this out. Uh, people were saying, how did Aaron Jones get the LTD? He hasn't even played yet. The LTD is from years past. So Aaron Jones here, 90 speed, 91 acceleration. He's got 91 agility, 91 carrying, 89 change of direction, 88 trucking, 92 break tackle, and 78 catching. I honestly thought that the LTD would potentially be uh, Patrick Mahomes. I honestly thought that we would get Patrick Mahomes, but they decided to go with Aaron Jones instead. So we get back-to-back -back weeks of running backs with the team of the week. Now, if we compare him to Curtis Martin, because elusive running back right here, elusive running back right here, 90 speed, 91 XL. This is 91 speed, 93 XL, but this is the LTD version, so completely maxed out. So powered up 
same speed but minus one acceleration for aaron jones then if we take a look back here we have 91 agility 91 carrying 90 agility 91 carrying now curtis martin though does have a trucking of 82 with a 90 change of direction and we've got 89 change of direction but 88 trucking 88 for Aaron Jones is a little bit better there 78 catching and 92 break tackle so actually higher break tackle once you power him up and then the catching right here on Curtis Martin of course is it's pretty decent 67 it's not it's not crazy crazy but Aaron Jones 78 that's a lot better and also Aaron Jones guys he's only 208 pounds so he's not gonna be uh, a crazy break tackle running back even though he does have 92 break tackle 88 trucking he's definitely gonna be able to break some tackles but you're not gonna see like Derrick Henry level out there so Aaron Jones I think is a solid card I don't think it's a you know super super crazy card we're all gonna go crazy over but I think it's a pretty solid card. Now, as for the two flashback legend players, I'll call them here, we did get Joey Porter on defense. I thought it would either be Mario Williams or Joey Porter. To be honest, I kind of feel like we could have used Mario Williams more with the current state of the players in the game. Joey Porter here, I'm going to show you guys a comparison between Joey Porter and Demarcus Ware extremely similar cards but i did think it was either gonna be joey porter or mario williams and it was joey porter and then the offensive hero this card looks really good honestly is ozzy newsome 88 speed 90 catch and traffic he does also have 87 catching he's got 91 medium round running 87 short 90 spec catch 76 run blocking yeah, this card's really good. So Joey Porter here, 86 speed, 88 acceleration. DeMarcus Ware, 86 speed, 87 acceleration. D Ware has 80 strength. Joey Porter has got 87, 90 tackling. DeMarcus Ware only 83. But then we come down to like the power move, finesse move, block shed stuff. Here we have 88 finesse move, 82 power move. We have 90 power move, but only 80 finesse move there. And then 86 block shed compared to 88 block shed for demarcus Ware. so very very similar cards i would say uh you could say porter is slightly better i guess because he does have the 90 power move but he's got less block shed there however does have the higher strength and everything i don't really think it's a big enough upgrade for me to really care though and to switch off of the wear but as for ozzy newsome this card 88 speed right let's compare it to Darren Waller in my opinion the best time in the game 88 speed 88 acceleration 88 speed we don't know the excel now I will say Ozzy Newsom is only 6'2 Darren Waller six foot six, so that's you know kind of a big difference there now the route running though 91 short 88 medium we've actually got 91 medium and 87 short here which to be honest with you I actually would prefer the 91 medium route running over the short because on those like tight end apprentice routes those corner routes and everything you're gonna really notice that medium routing right there on Ozzy Newsom. So that's actually really, really big. The run blocking also 76. Waller only a 70. So I actually really like this card a lot. 88 catch of traffic, 90 catch in traffic. I think Ozzy Newsom is about to cause Darren Waller's price to go down tremendously. So those are all of the heroes coming out tomorrow. As I said, EA will reveal all of the players coming out tomorrow in the morning. So we will see about, you know, someone like Derrick Henry or tom brady cooper cup all those other guys but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below we will see who ends up getting all these plus ones tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time